Welcome back. We've gotten Mosley's tracker, and with it we should be able to find the center of the circle at L'Hermitage. However, I don't quite want to leave town just yet. Even though I'm going to the motorcycle rental, I'm actually doing that because I want these. That moped has two sets of binoculars. Makes sense, because it is a two-person moped. But Grace doesn't have any binoculars. So, she's gonna borrow these. They hardly need two pairs of binoculars. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Yeah, I'm sure. Now, before we leave town, I want to go to... The Tour Magdala. Because I think somebody is there. By the way, not that surprising that uh, Mosley was sleeping so soundly. After all, he was out late as well, just like Gabriel. Checking his theories. And it seems the Abbe is out bird watching again, or whatever the hell it is he's doing. This must be a morning routine with him. Hi there, Abbe Arnaud. Mr. Akimura, good morning. How's the view today? Fine. I. I saw two hawks this morning. You haven't seen any more dead bodies, have you? No. No, of course not. Oh. I suppose that's a good thing. Yes. Excuse me. Okay, well... That didn't exactly make us any wiser. Is there anything to see around here? can see uh, Chateau de Blanche 4 from here. But it does not look like there's anyone there. I think Larry can be there sometimes, but... Not at the moment, it seems. And there's nothing else we can observe from here. Oh well, worth a try. Alright, time to go to Lemitage. See if we can find the center of the circle. As well as the direction given by St. Paul. Which we will need to draw the center 16 on the map to solve Virgo. I'll go get the bike. Grace just refers to it as the bike rather than the Harley. I guess she doesn't care what kind of bike it is. Um, okay, so we're going to um, L'Hermitage, not Kumsword. L'Hermitage is down that path. I knew that, but I just wanted to see what Grace uh, would say about the sign. Nothing too shocking, unsurprisingly. The exact center of the circle is right around here somewhere. Let's see if we can find where it is. The coordinates we need to find are 2 degrees, 18 minutes, 47 seconds longitude, and 42 degrees, 54 minutes, 56 seconds latitude. In order to use a tracker, you need to use it on This device Grace. might help me locate the exact center of the circle. Well, we're definitely close. We need 47 here, and we are at 46.98. 
I mean, you need 54, 56, so... It's definitely around here somewhere. It seems to be near the entrance of the cave. X marks the spot! I guess. And that did something. I'm pretty sure that's the exact center of the circle. Exact center of the circle, because you know our drawings on the map were so precise. How did you even get the coordinates that precise out of a map anyway? Um, it's a sign about L'Hermitage. Let's just read it. For completeness sake. L'Hermitage, place of the hermit. This little cave has been identified as L'Hermitage on regional maps for centuries, but the origins of its ownership and usage remain obscure. L'Hermitage, place of the hermit. St. Anthony was a hermit. I guess so. Um, oh, right. Well, we found um, the center of the circle. I wonder if there's anything to find there. I doubt it'll be that easy to find the treasure, but we can at least try it. So let's dig. I should go get the shovel. It doesn't look too promising, but I guess I have to try. This is ridiculous. I can't dig that far on my own. Besides, I doubt the treasure is going to be that easy to find. I still have the rest of Les Serpents Rouge to decipher. Okay, well, it was worth a try, I guess. I wonder if there's anything else around this area. Maybe there's something in the cave. Gabriel didn't want to go in there. Maybe... Um, Grace is more forthcoming. This is also where... Um, we first saw Wilkes using his big thumper. I guess he was trying to sound out uh, exactly the depth and size of that hole he spotted on the satellite photo. Or something like that. Or maybe trying to find an entrance. What the hell is this? There's something taped to the wall. Where did the bloodline of the pharaohs go? Look to he who is legendary for his wisdom to find the answer. How bizarre. I mean, who would leave such a thing? And why? That's a good question. And what the hell does it mean? That's not a good question. Wait, I'm not allowed to get a close-up view of this? That's weird. This note was left at L'Hermitage. Where did the bloodline of the pharaohs go? Look to he who is legendary for his wisdom to find the answer. How bizarre. I mean, who would leave such a thing? And why? Uh, I doubt we're going to get any clear prints of paper. Hmm. No, I don't see any sign of prints. Nope. No sign of prints. Or the artist formerly known as Prince. Um, and I guess we need to figure out where the painting was. This looks familiar. Yeah, see? It's the same spot as in the painting. And St. Paul gives direction with a simple gesture, so we need to know where St. Paul is pointing to. It's a cave. Something about the cave and this rock formation looks familiar to me. Um, I think we need to do this. Use the painting. The rock formation. It's just like the one in the Ten Years painting. Ten Years was painting the center of the circle. So let's see where St. Paul was pointing. In the Tenier painting, St. Paul is pointing northeast. 
towards Mount Cardew. Northeast. So I guess that means that's the direction of our center 16, meaning we need the center columns rather than the center rows. All right, um, I think I got everything here. If I'm not mistaken, something is happening here. At Lon Moor again. Yep, Madeline is back. Both she and Mosley definitely seem convinced. That there's something to be found here. That's nice. Madeline in a ditch. Couldn't have visualized it better myself. <laughs> okay. Having fun? It's you. That's what it says on my birth certificate. Have you seen that pudgy friend of yours lately? Mosley? Oui, Monsieur Mosley. He's been a naughty boy. I've seen him. Did he happen to look pleased about something? You mean, did he dig up the treasure last night? I doubt it. <laughs> Putain de mailed. Uh, excuse me, what was that? Nothing. Why don't you run along? And if you see your friend, tell him I want to speak with him. Sure. I'll get right on that. What is up with these two having exactly the same theory? She's getting lots of exercise. I wouldn't want to interrupt. Why is Grace still so catty about Madeline, even after what happened last night? Okay. Let's head back to the hotel. And of course, um, I'm going to check if there's anything happening in the dining room. Not much happening, although Bukeli and Mosley seem to be having breakfast. I guess Mosley finally woke up. Woke up. Mosley looks like hell this morning. We didn't stay up that late. But he did, because he was out digging. Hey, Mos. Oh. Uh, hi. Ready for some breakfast? No, thanks. Oh, I have a message for you from Madeline. She'd really like to talk to you. Oh, shit. That's an interesting reaction. Can we talk to him more? Apparently we need to move to the other side for that. No, thanks. He'd only ask me to sit down again. Signore Bukele. Is it just me, or does he seem particularly out of place here? Must be those black socks. Let's see if we can talk to him. Signore Bucchelli, good morning. Buongiorno. Are you enjoying the tour so far? It is what I expected. Really? Well, you have quite an imagination then, seeing as how we found two dead bodies yesterday. Those who live by the sword, die by the sword. Conspiracy and subterfuge, they carry a penalty. But a young lady such as yourself need not be troubled by such things. Uh-huh. Uh, what makes you think those two are involved in conspiracy and subterfuge? They were in rennes le chateau and they were murdered. It does not take a genius to make such a leap of intuition. 
Okay. Well, I guess so. All right. Let's see if we can draw those temple walls. Is Gabriel up yet? The answer is no. Did we get any new think message on this verse? Here is the reconstruction to which so many noble minds were dedicated. I look to the book of the hermit for reassurance. They must be talking about the book in the Ten Years painting. Oh, in other words, Second Chronicles 3, which is about the Temple of Solomon. I think I'm supposed to be marking off the walls of a new temple built by heretics. Okay, we did get uh, a new description here. So that's what we're supposed to be doing. The um, Marking the walls of the temple, which are the 16 at the center. And we now know the uh, direction as well. I'm just curious. Virgo mentions St. Paul. I look to St. Paul for direction and he answers with a simple gesture. St. Paul is pointing up in this painting. Okay. We already found what he's pointing at. He's pointing at uh, Mount Cardew towards the northeast. Okay, so we need the center 16 pointing towards the northeast, so the center 16 columns. So let's add points at the corners of that. It matches the shadow on Wilkes' seismic map. Great! So Wilkes definitely was onto something. Hopefully he won't find it before us. Points to find 41 rectangle. And I guess those are the um, temple walls. And that solves Virgo. Next up is Libra. And still, my task has not ended. Still, a bit of curtain blocks the light. Something must complete the message. Something which will give us entry into the abyss. Truth and falsehood battle in my head until I hear their message. It is the number of our patron Sky Traveler and that of a famous seal. The soul of the matter is evident to me now. At the intersection of the many, I lay down one rigid arm and the others scatter around the crown like jewels. At last, the queen is adorned for her coronation. Hmm. Libra is definitely talking about a hexagram. The battle of truth and falsehood is the Cathar black and white hexagram. Plus, it represents the soul. And it's the seal of Solomon. At the intersection of the many, I lay down one rigid arm. Hmm. Yep, the seal of Solomon is mentioned, and the um, duality, so it's definitely a hexagram. Soul's capitalized, and I don't think we've searched that yet, so let's do that. Libra is definitely talking about a hexagram. The battle of truth and falsehood is the Cathar black and white hexagram. Plus, it represents the soul, and it's the seal of Solomon. We already knew that. Um, the belief in a spirit form that survives death is almost universal, though its ultimate fate is a matter of dispute. The human soul is often represented by an egg, or in some occult traditions, by the hexagram. The Cathars represented the soul as a white and black triangle overlapped, which formed the hexagram. The black and white divisions indicated the Cathar notion of duality, that the soul consisted in equal parts of the divine and of earthbound or carnal yearnings. Well, that's... Uh, more of the same, I guess. So we need to add a hexagram and lay down one rigid arm at the intersection of the many. 
Well, that seems pretty clear to me. We need to um, put one of the points of the hexagram at the intersection of the many, which I suppose is this, where sunrise line and the line between the center of the circle and Poussin's tomb intersect the meridian. So, in order to um, add it, we go to use shape, and we now have a hexagram available here, because we s uh, scanned that of the painting. We didn't have it before. And this one is always a bit tricky to get the right size. Oh. Uh, that seems about right. It will ad adjust itself when you get close enough, so... I lay down one rigid arm and the rest scatter around the crown like jewels! Yes! That's it! I'll write down the coordinates for the northeast and southwest arms. Those two lie within the temple walls. And it does look like um, the symbol we saw in the museum, as Grace was expecting. And that ends this time segment. And next up is 10 a.m. And Gabriel again, of course. Which we'll continue with in the next video.